We pray in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you for coming to this um, daily church service. And thank you for participating on the church line with us. We ask uh, the reader for this afternoon to read to us from the gospel. Let us listen to the gospel, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. The reading is from Luke chapter 22, verse 1 through 13. Now the festival of unleavened bread, called the Passover, was approaching, and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some way to get rid of Jesus, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered Jesus. Excuse me. Then Satan entered, entered Judas, called yes. Iscariot, one of the twelve. And Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. They were delighted and agreed to give him money. He consented and watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them when no crowd was present. Then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John saying, go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Where did you want us to prepare for it? They asked. <laughs> then replied, he replied, as you enter the city, the man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters and say to the owner of the house. The teacher asked, where is the room? Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, all furnished. Make preparations there. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them, so they prepared the Passover. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They were planning on how to get rid of Jesus. And among the disciples of Jesus was already a hitman ready to do a dirty job. Satan will never enter into anyone to use anyone unless that person is a lover of negative things, negative imagination, negative thoughts, selfish, greedy. You only attract who you are. You attract what you are thinking. Judas Iscariot was selfish and greedy behind the scene he works secretly against everybody because we hear in subsequent readings in the gospel that he is a thief he stole from the past i wonder why jesus allowed a thief to handle his money. You see, people complain about being attacked by the devil, being oppressed, depressed, possessed by demons which are wicked and foul spirits, enemies of humans, trying to compete with us, whereas it's unnecessary. 
because we are owners of the universe. They have had their time. It is what you are thinking. It is your unwillingness to stop selfish, greed, evil ambition, unnecessary vengeance and revenge, unnecessary quest for power, unnecessary appetite for money. That's what will stop Satan, devils, from being attracted to you. And here it says, Satan entered into him, which means the chief of all that was bad in Judas finally came in to take over his life. When he says, and Satan entered into Judas, it means that his presence was taken, uh, his presence entered into, into Judas. He physically, Lucifer himself physically decided to enter into him. So, so for me, when I look at this, I see it in both ways. Either his presence, the presence of Lucifer, Satan, entered into Judas, or Lucifer himself decided to finish the job. Or it might be an expression to depict Satan sending his hitman to take over Judas, use him, and then dump him. Because that's what devils do. See, the point is this. What I'm trying, the point I'm trying to put across to you is this. Judas opened the door for Satan to enter into him one way or the other. For Satan and satanic intelligence. See, people do not become a tool in the hand of Satan and his hosts until they open that door for him. So Judas, through greed, love of power and money, the desire to be above everyone else, it's not about competition. Life is not about competition. Life is about contribution. Please write that down, it's a powerful key. The life we come to on earth is not about competition. It's about what you contribute. That's all. So those who see success, winning, life of luxury as a competition are wasting their time because at the end of the day, they will all be forgotten. It is what you contribute that matters. That's all that matters. So many a times, bad thing does not happen to people until they open the door for those bad things. By not doing things in detail, by not sitting down to think through things, by not telling themselves, no, this is not fair, this is not right, I'm going to hold myself, I'm not going to do it. But Judas opened his life to be possessed. When you hear the word Satan entered, it means he got possessed. Why? Because Judas is an agent of Satan. A lot of time people do not know what they are doing in public or in secret. It's an open door to satanic invasion of their lives and their nation. Many a time they don't know, they just think it's mere politics, it's just mere, we, we, well, this looks good. We, it, it keeps me in the winning. It keeps our political party in the winning. We are in control. 
It keeps, it keeps me in the business. We are in charge. Ask yourself, is what I'm doing opening a door to be possessed by the entities of sadness, unhappiness, gloom, depression, oppression? Because one, one way of life, one lifestyle will take away from you your destiny, your assignment, and every good thing. And everything will begin to collapse all around you. Because when Satan finishes using you, he will destroy not just you, but everything around you. So as not to keep a record of you that he has ever used you. You have to be aware of that. Satan doesn't joke. And that's what happened to Judas. So watch your life. And make sure that you do not keep doing dumb things that will open the door to Satan to invade your life and to destroy you. Because Satan loves nobody except himself. You have to know this by fact. So ask yourself whether what you're about to do, the quarrel you're about to embark, the things you're about to say, whether they will open doors for your life to be invaded, conquered, and destroyed. When you hear Satan or an evil spirit enter into a person, it means they've taken over that person to use that person to do their dirty work. You have to watch out because if the devil is to use anybody against you, it will always be people who have already opened the door for him. Drugs, alcoholism, unnecessary evil sex, the quest, the greed, the appetite for power and for money. Unnecessary competition opens the door. Racism opens the door. Drug dealers open the door. Prostitution of different kinds opens the door. Evil business practices opens the door. Incest opens the door. Consulting with witches and wizards and sorcerers. Reading palms and tarot cards and all those things, they open the door. The practice of the occult, astrology, etc., they open the door. Unnecessary involvement with death and things around death opens the door. What do you say? Oh, I'm a failure. I will never make it. What do you say? Negative thing you say about yourself and about other people opens the door. Eternal Father, every door that has been opened by your people and by those who are participating in this broadcast one way or the other that has made them to be possessed I demand that Satan, that you come out of the lives of God's children who are gullible and do not know any better that what they are doing or saying has resulted in this kind of problems. Come out of their lives and let them go. You have no right to invade their lives. Lord Jesus, fill your people with your lifestyle and your way and your culture and your way of thinking and doing business. Thy kingdom come. Everybody join me to repeat that word. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let's say it.
Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And whoever the Son of God has set free is free indeed. We have our freedom forever in Christ Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus into your life, over your life, and everything you do. Go and succeed. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.